You know what up? Street dogs, street gods, street vlogs. Bitcoin dogs. Her came the house. All right. First, how to get jacked and swole like EK. Uh, very simple. Uh, <laughs> lift weights every day. Actually, some of the best low key compliments I've been given is it's like, are you a swimmer? <laughs> or it's like, do you do rock climbing? Which is like women's way of complimenting a man's physique. Right? Funny, right? Um, uh, so girl's like, girl at the gym, she's like, I'm like, oh, what do you think I was a swimmer? She's like, your legs are insane, like massive, right? So the power's in your legs, suckers, All right? Uh, yeah, just quit your own gym. The Titan Fitness, what, T3 independent stand thing. I think they just stole the roguefitness.com design, but uh, alas, free shipping. We addicted to the free shipping. Uh, lift weights every day, otherwise. Heavy sandbag, this one's from Rogue. Um, yeah, actually, I think the, the branding for Rogue, the whoever did the logo, they did a good job, it looks good. I didn't want to get an ugly ass Titan Fitness one, just get some place in from the Home Depot is like three bucks. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I mean, pretty easy. Just lift it up real quick. Just lift it. First, you kind of want to get. Oh, and also with clothes, well, just sleeveless down vest if it's cold outside. Um, I like the Lululemon, what, license to train half tight shorts, I guess. Just clothes that don't essentially get in your way. But best clothes. That's it. I got the 400 pounder. Fill up with them later. Um, finna means gonna. Okay, and also, uh, yeah, Texas Power Squat Bars. This thing is the most beautiful thing of my. I like it more on my iPad, my iPhone, and anything I own. Buddy Caps. Uh, the pro tip is only buy stuff where people put their first and last name on it. What? Look at that. Caps. Buddy Caps 1980. Texas Squat Bar. Real men do the Texas Squat Bars. Don't trust the... I mean, my critique of Rogue Fitness... It arisen out of the... Um, whatchamacallit? CrossFit. I'm like super anti-CrossFit. I think it's like patently bad. I mean, I think it's, I think it's good for people who never have done weightlifting in their lives before and they just wanted to do something fun and community active etc but uh yeah anyone who does crossfit crossfit instructors whatevs uh essentially it just becomes like <laughs> i call them form nazis it's like top performers blah 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 i'm like get out of here i'm like you're just envious because you're just you're too much of a coward to lift a thousand pounds. Have you ever seen 10 plates before? 10 plates and a 25 on each side? Just uh, just Google or YouTube's Air Kim thousand pound Atlas lift and uh, you'll find out. So some simple exercises, uh, put up the bar, do what I call a squat walk or uh, sorry, deadlift walk. Just pull it up, just walk it out. And just put it back. Also, some unconventional ways to lift the weights include
Oh, yeah, in between leg deadlift thing. And also use the little cinder blocks to weigh things down. If things feel a little bit unsteady, if you're having five fingers, I like the LX model. Durability issues, however, I contacted Vibra. I'm like, you know who I is. Better give me a replacement pair or else I'm gonna stop promoting your products. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, anyways, so yeah. Uh, another pro tip what you could do is just get in between it, like yay. Just mixed grip or neutral grip, whatevs. Just lift it up. So the reason why I think this is a superior form of weightlifting is um, honestly the big issue with weightlifting is our pesky uh, body parts get in the way. So for example, uh, deadlift, right? Um, <laughs> it's like, what is the universal issue with a uh, deadlift? is when you're deadlifting, it scrapes against your shins. So then the funny thought is, how could you deadlift without scraping your own shins? Imagine if you didn't have shins and therefore the invention of the tread bar, the, the high trap bar, I think is a good idea. Um, but then again, like in terms of easeability and loadability, um, uh, the reason why I'm about just doing rack pulls or rack pull walk, deadlift walks, whatever, it's just easier to rack and unrack everyone, like the deadlift jack and stuff like that. And then the big issue is that everyone's trying to compete. Competitions, you lose a three dimensional loser. You're a loser in every dimension. Don't be a loser. Um, and also, fun facts. I mean, the reason why CrossFit it is rogue and stuff like that, come on, everyone's on the juice. <laughs> Like, everybody, don't quote Rich Froning to me. I think he's probably on the juice too. Everyone's on the juice. Um, men, women, dogs alike, everyone's on the juice. Um. <sighs> juice means steroids, or like my best friend, PewDiePie likes to say, I think he calls it gummy bears, right? So I did a video about the rock. Mad respect to PewDiePie. People only hate PewDiePie because he's so much more successful than you. Not necessarily another funny thing I learned about Kim K, right? People only hate Kim because they, they wish they was Kim. People are like, oh, you know, Kim Kardashian was a sex day with Ray J. <clears throat> She's only using sex in her body to get famous and rich. But, isn't that everybody, right? Like, even uh, certain things which I find very disingenuous. Honestly, like, Rock should just come up and be like, yo, I'm juicing my eyeballs up, bro. And maybe Jason Momoa, maybe. Probably. I was talking to someone, I was like, you think Jason Momoa is on the juice? He said something interesting, he was like, I'd be surprised if he was not. Um, and so at least with male, male masculine ladies, blah, blah, uh, a lot of this Hollywood, don't trust nobody in Hollywood, uh, even the good ones like Henry Cavill and what, Evan Williams or the superhero, what, Captain America peoples, uh, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, all of them, right, is that if you in the, I mean, just think about this logically, right? If you was in the entertainment industry, right? Like in a movie, right? It is maybe even Christian Bale when he bulked up for Batman, Batman or even maybe uh, Gerald Butler and the movie 300 and those dudes, right? It's just think about it this way. It's like if, you know, your feasibility as... Um, an actor or director or producer, whatever is Hollywood, is based on your image. 
the most logical thing actually to do is actually to uh, to take steroids or testosterone pumping blah blah blahs um, in order to increase the feasibilities um, and I mean my simple heuristic for today's world is trust no fitness person who has Instagram or even YouTube uh, if they do have a YouTube or a podcast or whatever just make sure it's not sponsored by ads or nobody else right um, I mean also maybe the only people we could trust are people who are just like independently wealthy so I mean the reason you could probably trust me is <laughs> I'm already independently wealthy through uh, crypto and photography and stuff like that so anything that I say that's about <laughs> anything outside of my domain expertise which is typically photography I guess uh, it's probably a little more uh, genuine and uh, pure um, yeah don't don't trust these dudes on the juice uh, no buenos and are steroids bad? Yes, steroids are bad. Don't be a... Don't be a fool. Like, people are like, Oh yeah, steroids are okay, you know, they're safe now. I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> they're like, as long as you do it safely, steroids are okay. I'm like, nuts. I mean, it's, it's like one of those things, like, I respect and I, I'm grateful that a lot of people are admitting that they're taking steroids now, but also culturally, we should think, yeah, <laughs> steroids are... Uh, I mean, essentially, what is a steroid? A steroid is something that artificially gets your testosterone up. I'm like, why don't you want to just eat more beef liver? Just eat more meat, right? I'm on a new level. <laughs> Used to sleep on itchy beds. Uh, the whole tip, not give me head. Twenty in the whole tip. And uh, some facts on how to get your test up. Um. Yeah, intermittent fasting, no breakfast, no lunch. Am I the only person I know who does intermittent fasting before lifting weights? One rep maxing. I done did that with my thousand pound atlas lift, so surely I'm doing something right. Another funny thing I discovered when people are like, be careful, you might hurt yourself. What they really want to say is, I'm such a coward and I want to see you get hurt because you're so much more strong and jacked and more courageous than I am. And I want to see you get injured because your methods are illegitimate, contrary to mine. So yeah, I think, uh, I mean, honestly, just building your old gym is a good idea. Um, the big issue nowadays though is uh, buying weights, weight plates are actually really expensive and inaccessible. I mean, that's why I like, uh, recommend the, the heavy sandbags that at least it's uh, much more accessible. Um, 
I mean, the nice thing about sand, sandbag training is, uh, I mean, Home Depot sand is what, $5 for 50 pounds is actually really cheap. And as a consequence, um, yeah, I think uh, it's accessible. I think the big issue with exercise weights, everything in general, is uh, an issue of accessibilities. Gotta make it more accessible. Hmm. And also people are like, you need the full range of motion. I'm like, you don't need a fucking full range of motion. Get out of here, you little cowards. Yeah, anyone who talks about full range of motion has not either done any critical inquiry or testing. They're like, yeah, you're gonna hurt yourself. I'm like, nah, bro, it's like the exact opposite is that by reducing the range of motion and increasing the weight, it's actually way safer. And don't go for reps, it's like, it's like, I think, uh, I mean, the funny thing with CrossFit is it's well aligned with American culture because it's all about pain and suffering is more virtuous. And I'm like, no, nah, that's <laughs> not true. It's like, go to 100 push ups, 200 sit 500 aero squat weight thing. I'm like, sounds like fucking slave labor. So I don't get at me with the slave labor. Uh, people think that more work, more toil, more pain is more virtuous. But I'm like, no, nah, that's a, that's a Slave mentality. Slav means slave. It's like, can you imagine the ancient Spartans like, oh, how do a hundred sit-ups? No, nah, just go, go to battle, go to war, baby. Go to war. Reduce the range of motion, increase the weight. Super simple, super simple, super simple. Yeah, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six plates. The weight, baby. It's like, what do I want for my birthday? <laughs> I want some weightlifting plates. Buy me some weightlifting plates on Titan Dot Fitness. Could be a good birthday present. All I need in life is weights, steel, and iron. Guns, germs, and steel. Jared Diamond. People only hate Jared Diamond because he's so much more successful than they are. And actually, ultimately, the funny thing is, fun facts, guys, as long as you're a tall guy, Urkim is five foot 11 and a half, six foot, five foot, six, three quarter. I'm gonna height check myself. Let's just say I'm six feet tall. Good to be six feet tall because all the shorty guys like you don't matter how much riches it doesn't matter if you're worth 10 trillion dollars even jeff bezos um go on chat gpt paid premium uh jeff bezos is what seven foot about well, five five foot seven so it don't matter 
how much money has you got, all the, the chicks that you've been coitusing. As long as he's a shorty guy, sub six feet tall, I feel bad for you. That's why it's better to be a Jay-Z. He's six foot two, how he's been son, oh God. Is Eric Kim the most strongest person on the planet? All natty? Yes, I am. How you know I'm all natties? I mean, impossible to know, right? Only I know. But uh, the number one way to know if somebody's natty or not is just, uh, <laughs> it, this is a funny thing. If people joke about steroids, about being on steroids, they're on steroids. And also the thing is, from what I understand, they don't even call it steroids anymore. They call it something else. They call it gear or some other stuff. Um, TRT, testosterone replacement therapy and supplies. So I'm not. <laughs> Get out of here. A bunch of dweebs. But, uh, actually, this is where I think is, is quite critical. It's like, who was used or who was they in a high school? Once a nerd. Once a dweeb, always a dweeb. Your boyfriend's a dork. Put up in sports. Motor sports. Your boyfriend is a dork. Put it. Put that thing in sport. Motor sport. Let's try this out. I'm on stage, show me boobies. Okay. Easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten plates. Enough room for. Let's see. One, two, four more. Hmm, I guess I gotta fit eight plates. Sorry. Eleven plates. Eleven plates. 